carbon oxygen single bonds the carbon oxygen single bond normally show a stretching vibration between 1250 centimeter inverse to 1050 centimeter inverse so this is for the carbon oxygen single bond now in alcohol and ether the carbon oxygen single bond is going to be at the lower end of the frequency range but in the case of carboxylic acid, it's going to be in the higher end of the frequency range. This is because of electron delocalization. So the electrons from here can move to form a double bond, whereby thrusting these electrons onto oxygen. So this bond will now have a partial double bond character. So because it has a partial double bond character, it's going to show a higher frequency stretching vibration but in the case of alcohol and ether this bond right here this carbon oxygen bond is going to be purely single bond in the case of esters there should be two carbon oxygen stretches one at a lower end and the other one at a higher end the one at the lower end is going to correspond for this purely single bond and the other one at the higher end is going to correspond to the one with partial double bond character